Beware of Crimson Peak. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Movie Talk. I'm Joe Kaskin, with this is our guest, Nick Cheney. Crimson Peak. Mia Wasikowska plays Edith Cushing, an aspiring writer in just the turn of the 20th century in America. Tom Hiddleston plays Thomas Sharp, a baronet from England who's come over to come over to Buffalo to pitch his idea for a clay mining machine to Edith's father. Crimson Peak also starred Charlie Hunnam, who was the main character in another Guillermo del Toro movie, Pacific Rim. And finally, Jessica Chastain, who plays Lucille Sharp, Tom's sister. Throughout the course of the plot, Edith comes to live with Tom and Lucille at their estate in England, where the mystery begins to unfold. There is a real dual narrative going on with Mia's character, and at the same time, Doctor character, played by Charlie Hunnam, who's slowly piecing all of it together from his end all the way back in New York. They slowly intertwine. Really, and... really well, I have to say. Now their part was was uh, really boring. It entertained throughout the entire movie, each plot point. There's just so many mysteries going on. Each one adds to it so much more. Why is Jessica Chastain's character so secretive? Chastain has a set of keys which she keeps very close to her and doesn't let anybody take, which adds to the mystery of her character. Tom Hiddleston was great in this movie. He was really fantastic. Jessica Chastain Every time she was on screen, I just felt ugh. From her role in Interstellar, um, and most recently The Martian, which is also out right now, uh, she is unrecognizable um, character-wise. Del Toro, uh, really, he has no limits movie-wise. He's done action sci-fi with Pacific Rim. Fantasy action with Hellboy and Hellboy 2. Historical fantasy with Pan's Labyrinth. Murder mystery, haunted house, spooky ghostness with spooky. Crimson Peak. For most of this movie, I was terrified. I just want to say, neither Nick or I are horror movie fans. I personally detest horror movies, but with a director like Guillermo del Toro, you just kind of, you gotta see yeah. it. You gotta see it. I just had so much faith that del Toro could pull it off, and he did. He really, he, he brings did. it. He brings it in this movie. There weren't a whole lot of, like, big scares, like, oh, look around the corner, oh, there's a ghost. There was a sequence of just terrifying events in one in one sitting throughout the entire movie. Every scene is just shot very deliberately. Every angle where everyone is in relation to what, it just frames it beautifully. The style of editing and cinematics in this movie really brought forward Del Toro's technique. A lot of makeup being used, a lot of practical effects, really signature of his style. With a lot of the ghosts and also the violence, you can definitely tell that it wasn't CGI and it was definitely makeup and it made you just really appreciate the, the, the craft. There were a lot of uses of um, vignettes, uh, a lot of interesting segues. The score for Crimson Peak was just great. A lot of the music where it was just discordant piano notes really fit the scene very well, where it was just very creepy and had you really on edge. In each scene where something scary, something terrifying happened, there's this one like motif that shows up. Almost like an omen. One misconception a lot of people might have going in is it's not a story about ghosts. It's a story with ghosts in it. Their real importance is to set the tone. Each ghost is terrifying and disgusting in their own way. Everything looked sinister. Everything had this sort of evil about it. Over, overall, this movie, though I'm not a horror fan, was really fantastic. I really liked it. It had me at the edge of my seat. Rating? What do you say, Nick? Okay, I would give Crimson Peak 4 out of 5 Moscals. I would have to say 4.5 out of 5 Moscals. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Even you scaredy cats out there, you gotta see this movie. Next week, Nathan is gonna review Jobs, directed by Danny Boy with a special guest. All right, thank you, Nick, for coming out. It's been a blast. It's been an adventure. This has been Movie Talk. I'm Joe Kowski. I'll see you next week.